Welcome to Walks with Ted. Join me on my travels as I take a different look at interesting places, stay in hotels, caravan parks, visit tourist attractions, go to different towns and cities, go to coastal resorts, stay in holiday parks, even use Airbnb for a staycation. And of course, don't forget wonderful days out in the UK, both inland and on the coast. So join me as I take you on a trip round no, we just left the Lincoln Memorial because it was so hot in there and we're sort of in a wooded area here now we're going down I think there's a memorial here I think this is the Korean Memorial with uh, all the Korean soldiers in the uh, not Korean American soldiers from Korea that are in the uh, soldiers here no. And they reflect on the wall, so it makes 38, and that's the 38,000 soldiers America lost in the Korean War. Ah, so well, there you go. We have now uh, been informed. Yeah. But all these, apparently, they're all, they're all different shapes and sizes, uh, and different poses. And Lynn did say there's 18 of them. So we said one eighteen, Lynn, yeah. One, two, yeah, eighteen. Which is apparently and I'm not sure how true this is, but uh, this is meant to be a stunning display at night because it's all lit up and it's very eerie. Uh, it's meant to be protecting the soldiers, I think, were walking through a rice field in the Korean War so uh, we will uh, have to come back in the evening and have a look at it well that's a cracking saying isn't isn't it uh, freedom is not free uh, so this is the memorial to the fall of the Korean Korean War which was I think 1950-ish uh, wasn't it uh, around that time and on this wall here they, they've got uh, I don't know if you can see some wonderful oh it's like been engraved into the marble can, can you see it's uh, yeah definitely been engraved and the whole wall is full of engravings which uh, which is very very stunning yeah it's just a marble and what's happened is to create the figures they've just chipped they've just chipped the top of the marble off very very clever anyway we'll look back over to the uh, field of Korean soldiers and then uh, like most memorials we've got a, a pond and surrounding the pond is all the names of the fallen uh, total total waste of people's lives isn't it uh, because Korea is still Korea and um, you go through here and uh, you know the names and the names of them just names and names and all they are are names you know you know Robert you know Robert J Rogers you know Warren W Rogers John E Rowland yeah you know absolutely mean nothing to you do they really but everyone is a is a fallen soldier who died for what? The Korean War. Anyway, been quite a summer day today. We've done the cemetery, Arlington Cemetery, first thing. <laughs> we, now we're here doing uh, uh, doing the Korean Memorial. But, uh, very well done, which is typical of uh, not typical. I wouldn't say typical. The American way of doing things. Yeah, very good. Let's get, just go over to to the reflective uh, pond. 
water does seem to be a, a major feature to all their uh, memorials uh, and also it creates a bit of a chill.